Welcome to Friday Fizz number 37. Today we're going to talk about Donald Trump, we're going to talk a lot about LinkedIn, and we're going to get drunk with Bradley Walsh. So anyway, it really, really exciting. Again, our vlog went out two days ago. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. It'll be in the comments, linked up. Chris will put a clip in. Teaser, go now. So I came in this morning. We've uh, just finished filming Friday Fizz and I have rejuggled my day so that I can go home and get a couple of hours kip. Um, I can't work off an hour and a half. I don't care what people say. Sleep is for those people who are broke. Bollocks. If you like comment and subscribe to the vlog on YouTube, um, we'll give you something. No, we won't. We'll do a draw and give somebody something. We're not going to give everybody something because uh, we'd be bankrupt. So so today, Donald Trump becomes the president of the United... Yeah. Today, Donald Trump becomes the president of the United States of America. Um, have you built your bunker? Outgoing president, I am one hell of a fan of. Mm. Like, I am a massive fan of Obama. Yeah. He's got, like for me, he's, I don't believe many people have true charisma, <laughs> but out of anybody, I think he's probably the most likely to have it. Hey, get out of here. That's the most persistent fly I've ever seen. Nice. Now, where were we? He's just so cool. Like he could yeah. walk into any room and own it, couldn't he? Obviously, he's yeah. the president now, but just at any time, he just yeah. he looks so cool and so calm, and yeah. always finds the right words. Yeah. That's the thing. It's whoever he's talking to, he yeah. can adjust. Yeah, he's a great man. Great man. Um, and and I I dare say that this isn't the last we've seen of him. We've had a question on Trump, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, Sean from Plus Ten Solutions. Thank you very um, much. Good question, Sean basically said, obviously, Trump's inauguration today. Yep. Um, what else has happened that you think shouldn't have happened? Galaxy Note 7, yeah. on a, on a, which they all started exploding. I'm sure you can get some press clippings. The, another one, um, the Amstrad PDAs. Yeah. So much before the time. Like, <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw him on a show once, um, Lord Alan Sugar, and he was talking about um, these PDAs. And he was saying, they were brilliant. It's just the market wasn't ready. And he's right, because five years later, that was the f***ing, the dog's bollocks. Everybody was getting these sort of phones. The Amstrad pen pad. It's science fact, not science fiction. More recently for me, I reckon uh, Bradley Walsh getting the best son in debut album of 2016. That shouldn't have happened. I mean, I didn't know that, but I, anything, any kudos to Bradley Walsh to, for me is a great thing he's a, he's a genius have you seen him on um, he was on uh, Sunday, Sunday brunch, brunch. <laughs> a few, yeah. a bit like a month or so ago and and it became it, you, they could have crossed Sunday brunch out of the title and just put the Bradley Walsh show yeah. he just dominates he was hammered that was why right. like, <laughs> he was. started on the cocktails at like 10 a.m. and he was hammered Bonsoir, welcome to Sunday brunch <laughs> Get the kids to do this, all you folks at home over Christmas. Yeah. Kids, when your parents are out, make sure you do this. You can use your cushion in your house as a cannon. All you do is put a grape in there, and then you go and fire it. <laughs> And that's what you do. And it has an hour of endless pleasure. Make sure your nan is sitting in the corner. Go, Grand, what a great thing. And when you've, when you've finished, when you've finished, you can sit there and pretend you're a pirate. I bet the producers are having a, a nightmare trying to control him that yeah. day. Yeah. Or just waiting for him to swear or something. I mean, it's hilarious at the start, but it's a three hour long show and he was yeah. hammered for the whole thing, just getting more and more drunk. Talking of Bradley Walsh, that leads nicely into The Chase. Oh, yes. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Amazing. Chris beat the chaser. <laughs> Amazing. That hammered the chaser by himself. Yeah. Uh, yeah, on his own. <laughs> you couldn't write this. <laughs> he only got four grand though. That's fine. And that evoke that he came to see us in, that was definitely his. <laughs> bullsh some yeah. bullshit about him it's being his in. boss's. Well, it would have given the game away that yeah, one, yeah. far too early. You went yeah. on the chase and then came over and yeah. he ran. Oh, no, congratulations to Chris. You waited, you've had to wait a long time for that glory. Mm -hmm. Filmed back in February and only went live on Monday. So, yeah, congratulations to Chris. And, Chris, we have a proposal for you. 
We want um, some sort of pub question of the week, and you've got to film it. Our well, very own chaser. Yeah, our very yeah yeah the the chaser slayer or the the chaser. Let's move on anyway. Let's move on to a feature because you've just like just ruined that. So um, question of the week. Sam and Dave and Elise here, the Confident Woman Coach. Um, so I've got a couple of questions for you on a post that went on LinkedIn a couple of weeks ago. A lady posted up a blog on LinkedIn that had swear words in. She created £90,000 worth of sales from that one blog post alone and um, she got 70% great feedback and 30% of people complained. As a result, LinkedIn have actually blocked her accounts temporarily. And I'd like to know a few things actually, which you can chew the fat over the table this week. Um, number one is, what are your views generally on LinkedIn? Do you think it's on the increase in terms of people getting the message out there, the copywriting and the sales? Um, what do you think about LinkedIn actually suspending her account temporarily? And what do you think about using swear words and coming across on, as your true self on a social media platform i would love to hear your views thank you linkedin is it stale well you you kick us off on this one yes i think it, it is in a way it's it's moving forward a lot better than others like twitter so for example i think it was yesterday they launched their new um, desktop design yeah. yeah um so that should start working in a similar way to mobile where your posts are shown up by order of popularity mm -hmm. so you'll be served up posts that you're actually going to enjoy a bit more so i think that's a good step I also think that it's moving forward in that there are people coming across from Twitter, getting bored of Twitter, coming to LinkedIn, looking for more business and starting to bring a few of the traits of Twitter to LinkedIn, yeah. which is obviously part of, the, part of this discussion. Is that a good thing? Yes, I think it is because LinkedIn was very stale. It was very boring. If you went on there, you'd be lucky to find a post that you could engage with. You only connect with the people that you're actually going to build a relationship with. If you don't like the way someone's doing something, just Deconnect with them, unconnect. Disconnect, that's the word. <laughs> My opinion is that it's it's a professional platform and I want it to stay a professional platform. Um, that doesn't mean don't put your personality and your humor and stuff like that. One thing that I'm, I'm finding slightly frustrating is that it's a bit noisier than it used to be, which more people, more noise. That's fact of life. Um, and it is a growing social media. You know, if you want to go somewhere to do business, great place. Yeah. You know, and I think Twitter's struggling. Um, there's just way too much noise on that. And there's no way to filter it. That's the problem, I think, because yeah. there, like you say, LinkedIn's becoming noisier, but hopefully with this redesign, mm. it'll start showing you the posts that you're actually going to enjoy. Yeah. So it's going to cut through the noise in a way because you're going to, you're going to be able to engage with stuff yeah. still. Whereas Twitter, you're hard, you know, it's a hard task to try and find something because you've got to scroll through hundreds of tweets just to try and find something interesting. You look at how much Twitter's struggling at the minute and it's because they're seriously lacking in innovation. Mm. LinkedIn have started to address some of their things. There's, it doesn't matter what you are, it doesn't matter what sort of business you are, social network or otherwise, you have to innovate, you know, and that is a fact of life. You can't stand still because if you're standing still, you're going backwards. <laughs> The other thing is uh, being yourself on social media, um, but there was a, a focus in a video on, you know, particularly swearing. Well, I think my opinion is fairly obvious on this one. Yeah. I think we, we discussed this before on Friday, Fizz. Um, if you don't like it, you, can, you know where to get <laughs> It's like, <laughs> like, seriously. But I think you have to be yourself. People don't like my swearing. They're probably not the people I want to work with anyway. One, one thing that I can't stand is idiots who impress their f***ing beliefs on other people. That's what really annoys me. If you don't like swearing, just switch it off. I don't care if you don't watch it. I don't care if it stops 100 people watching it because it'll get another 200 because they do like it. Yeah. Right? I don't care. What annoys me is when you don't like it, so then you spend the time and comment and say, oh, I think this is widely inappropriate. It's far too unprofessional. F*** off. Jog on. Well, it's like that woman on LinkedIn got 
I can't remember how many hits to a website, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So ninety thousand pounds worth of sales for, on the back of this link. Yeah, course. pretty much overnight. But then you know the complaints of Keith and Clive, whatever the names were. Um, she got she Clive. got banned from LinkedIn. Outrageous. Stupid. Absolutely it's, outrageous. It's, it's gone fun. viral. Yeah. You're a social network. It doesn't matter if you're business focused or otherwise. That's basically LinkedIn saying that they don't like swearing on their platform. See you later to at least a quarter or a third of LinkedIn. Well, that, it was because so many people complained. That's yeah. the problem. But she's done all right out of it because I, yeah, yeah. I read all the press about it and looked at her website on the back of it. About it and it's going to go out yeah. to other platforms through this. And yeah, well done. Thank you, Annalise, for the yeah. question. Brilliant. Yeah, cheers. Question of the week. Yeah, so I think that video was staged. Let me know in your comments whether you think it was staged or not. I think he staged it. Fair play though, because that TV probably cost like 300 quid. Oh, I did. So, it, I, but, but how many video hits has it had? Like, is he in business? Is he trying to raise his profile? Does he want to be a YouTuber or a, a vlogger or something like this? I think fair play. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs>